Welcome back, everybody. We are back with more Beyond on the sub server. A huge thanks out to Cubed Host again for the hosting and all that type of stuff. There is an affiliate link down in the description. You name it if you are looking for a server. Anyways, um, I've come up with some of the stone designs. We got our Ender Lilies. They're slowly but surely growing. I didn't even did I even look up End Stone? I don't think I did. Um, is there a way that we can make this? Did I look this up? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Resonant Ender. Yeah, I think I remember looking that up. Anyways. Anyway. We need to progress on today. Yes, we do, Sparky. Yeah, Sparky. Can we make a name tag? I think we can. Maybe we need to name our dog. What should we name the dog? Um, so many beautiful subscribers. Subscribers on. And, uh... Leaving me just like barrels, item barrel from Yabba, um, and drawers of stone and stuff, and it's awesome. I love you all. Thank you so much. We're going to need a ton of it as we go. Uh, really? 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 All right. There we go. Good. And, of course, we still have some of the stone over here as well. Um, I did select my overall stone design, and I think it looks good. It's... The design is supposed to be smooth and not brick-like, so I think it's going to look quite nice once it's all done, and then we have some other stuff that we're incorporating it in to kind of break it up and you name it. Um, a couple other quick notes. The thermal expansion machines are working great. I really like the upgrade system and everything that they're doing, but I will say the Dynamo has a loss, all right? Um, so... It continually will burn up lava, all right? And you will continually lose 10% at all times. So that big old tank that I had emptied out of lava, which, okay, I get why they did it. I understand. But what they're going to run into here is a big old thing where, guess what? This thing doesn't work. This wrench doesn't work. I figured out my backpack, too. You have to equip it. <laughs> um, so one of the big things about it is um, it's not going to be as good as a lot of other ones. Later on, once you have, you know, infinite of certain things, that's fine. But when it comes to the magmatic, I do, I'm not a big fan because it's continually losing lava. And lava is kind of a pain for us still to get. So, by theory, you are probably better off going with a Magmatic Generator from Extra Utilities 2. And you know what? That brings us into Extra Utilities 2 here. I want to get some of this going and started. And the first thing that we need to get is, well, pretty much set up with everything. What are these? Oh, nice. I have no clue what these do. They look awesome, though. Um, so, basically what we need to get is we need to get a Resonator up and running block of coal, redstone, and a resonating red thingy. Um, so, let's get our block of coal. Boom. Let's get our redstone. Let's get that. And just some iron. And we're going to get this thing started. And the reason being is it's it's advisable. Um, Extra Utilities 2 is a very powerful mod overall. And I highly recommend most people getting into it very early on. But it does require some grid power, which is good. Um, so we need to make ourselves a... Um, we're just going to do... Mm, yeah. I think a manual, manual mill, I think, is probably the way we want to go here. It's usually one of the best. Um, is it? I mean, we could just do solar panel. Um, hmm. You know what? I don't, I don't know. Let's, let's do a solar panel. I haven't done a solar panel. So, and we get three of them. That seems like a, actually a pretty good deal. So let's get some of this and let's get another one of those. Good. And then I think it was some lapis lazuli, right? Let's, let's do this. I haven't done this in a while. 
go the solar panel route. So let's get those guys done. Very nice, beautiful. And well, we kind of have a lack of sunlight here. So maybe we will jump over this way and just kind of put it out here on the open land for now. Um, but we can basically place these down anywhere. And now you can see we actually have zero of three being used which is good and then we can put this polished stone in there for example and it is slowly building up and trying to use that power the problem that we have is well we need more we need more so let's get a few more we need eight total to get this done and i think this is why i didn't go with solar panels i forgot all about this so yeah a little bit of a situation oh people want to sleep let's sleep let's sleep Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Very good. This is why I probably didn't go solar panel. Just saying. All right, let's take these out, and let's get a few more of them. Boop. Luckily, I have lots of stone. And let's get a couple more here. That'll give us nine, which is more than enough to get us going. So that'll give us nine total, which will give us over the eight. And sadly, the one beef that I have with extra utilities is the fact that once you build even these basic powers, whether it be the manual or you name it, you kind of are just like, okay, well, I built it. Um, now it's useless because you surpass it so much faster than what you even built it. So it's one of those fine details. I did decide to go with the solar panels here as well because by theory this is an additional nine that we can always generate if we find a place for it. Whereas the manual mill, it generates nothing unless you're actually looking at it. All right. Um, I do want to get the water mills. Uh, those are pretty much the best. So we need more of this stone burnt, which is what we're producing, which is good. And then the magmatic generators we can actually look at getting right now. So let's start building one or two of those. So the magmatic generator is a furnace generator, which is a furnace, machine block, iron and redstone, iron, redstone chest. Okay, so just a decent amount of iron and redstone, it looks like. And yeah, that's about it, really, isn't it? Gold and a bucket of lava. Okay, uh, let's get a little bit more of this on us. Let's get some gold. Let's get some of that. Good. And we're going to need a bucket uh, or a few buckets of lava. So let's quickly head on down. Uh-oh, Malcor is coming over. I see him on the map. Oh, no. Probably dropping off more goodies. <laughs> Giving me all the free stuff. I love it. I love you, subs. I love you so much. Honestly, the community and you name it in, in a whole is just fantastic. Um, we have a lot of fun. And that's the main thing, right? Like, when, all, when push comes to shove, that's what it all comes down to. Is just having a good time having fun, having people to talk with, people to play with, um, and building the acrylic crew community is one of our major goals here, um, which is awesome. I love it. Whether that's the YouTube community, the Twitch community, or I think it's what, the Twitch Messenger now community? So either way, those are the little things that really go a long way. All right, let's get a couple chests. Good. Let's get our... These, I think we only need the one though. I don't think we need to do another one at this point in time. We will get a furnace. Oh, that's the other thing we needed. We need some cobble. Oh yeah, it's up here. Good. Let's quickly make a few furni. Oop. Just a couple. No big deal. Probably better off to have a few more than, than not. And then, boom, four furnace generators. Good. And then with this, we can get at least two, I think, because we... Are where's the other lava? What? I had another lava, didn't I? Did I not have another lava? I could have sworn I had another lava. Huh. Huh. I could have sworn I did. Anyways, um, we're going to place that back down, and then that'll be connected, and that will get us some power out, which is good. Ideally, actually, I'm probably better off going and running a line up top here, like this, because we're going to have a few of them 
um, ready to go. And then by theory, we can just disable that line. Good. I thought I got some lava. Anyways, we need to go get more, apparently. Our stone burnt is cooking up, which is good. That'll that'll help us uh, that'll help us progress in the extra utilities and get us some decent grid power, which is also really awesome and helpful and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to get some lerva, and I think I actually need to just do this to get some of it. We're kind of at that point now where we've used up all this accessible lava um yeah so a little bit of lava to get these magmatics going and i feel like this is a smart choice how did i do that i won't ask questions it's fine um these are the little things that are starting to add up here so getting this lava is going to be very helpful for our base and getting the magmatics up and running is going to be very helpful for power generation but then we also need to enhance our grid power generation to utilize some of the extra utilities stuff that we can use as well so it's the little things that we need to kind of figure out and add up on oh baby look at that nice it's a pie i love it i love it look at all this juicy lava goodness Okay, good. Um, other than that, uh, as for the amount of series and stuff, I do have the poll up on the Curse server or um, Curse app or Twitch Messenger or whatever they're calling it these days. Um, we do have that up there so that you can go on and do a quick little poll. I would truly appreciate um, any and all input that you guys can provide me. And the main thing that I'm looking for is feedback, okay? And I know that that's kind of a loaded question. It's like, wow, you're looking for feedback? Everybody wants feedback. And it's true. We do want feedback, um, whether it be constructive. I want to know why you are watching my videos. I want to know what you'd like to see differently. I want to know all of these things um, so that we can build and get make sure that I can please as many as possible. Um, I know that it's going to be tough, right? Like, let's not kid ourselves here, because what's going to be of interest to some is not going to be of interest to others. And everybody has varying interests, which is perfectly fine and actually recommended. Um, but it's one of those things where I feel like I could do a better job. And I fully think that I can do a better job with this. Um, I know that I've been lacking when it comes to finishing out series. I know that I've been lacking in a few different areas when it comes to series in general on my channel. Um, these are things that I'm trying to improve. Uh, in Project Ozone 2, the video that went out, uh, I believe it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Um... I talked a little bit about it and how maybe I need to set my own little goals in the pack to accomplish. Um, and maybe that's even mini goals, right? And work towards those mini goals. And I need to be more um, conscious to let you guys know my goals as well, right? So, for example, in Project Ozone 2, I recently just kind of said, okay, you know what? This is great that we're having so much fun over here, but let's set a goal. Let's set a goal of making the Philosopher's Stone. So that's our current goal in Project Ozone 2. We're going to make the Philosopher's Stone. We're not far off from it. It's kind of a mini goal, but once we get there, then we can progress on from that point, right? Okay, you go there. So that should be firing this up and building up our power. Good. And then it should be filling up these lines a little bit because they do store. Um, excellent. Okay. Good. Let's make another magmatic generator. All right. Now we are in business. This should really increase our production of power. Each one of these produces... Oh, God. I can't even remember. What is it? 40 RF per tick or 80? I can't remember which one. Um, but the good thing about these ones is they don't use up... 
Um, they don't keep running, as far as I'm aware, anyways. I haven't really fully tested that, I guess. I probably should have done that before I claimed otherwise. But either way, that should be more than enough power for quite some time. These will start ramping up, and we'll get a nice big buffer, too. Right? Each one has 100,000. I say that's pretty darn good. All right, good. We can put away our resources and our coal and this resonating uh, that I remembered to grab finally okay over here we should have our stone burnt or at least some of it which we do that's good i should make more actually while we're on it here um <laughs> don't mind me thanks subs <laughs> making me not have to go mine stuff love you all right good good boom all right, that's two, two stacks. Good. I'll get this stuff fired up as well. The nice thing about having this is we are just able to have this going at all times, which is great. All right, good. We still have those furnaces on our hands, and we need to now progress into the other stuff. So I wanted to make some water mills. They're very useful. Um, they require... Oh, boy. I think it was a server restart all of a sudden, or a crash. One sec. All right, so, yeah, we're back. Uh, that was actually a crash, um, and not a good one. We actually had to roll back 15 minutes. So I just rebuilt all the magmatics and stuff here, um, and I'm working on my stone burnt again. But we want to get the water mills up and running and get all that going. So luckily, we have backups, like, all the time on the server. So even everybody that's on here, it was almost like nothing happened. Little minuscule things that they were easily able to remake, which is great. I love that. And that's part of, you know, the admin team and all that. We've got done everything more or less correctly, which is amazing. All right, let's get some of those water mills. Yes, indeed. Let's get overpowered. So stone burnt, resonating redstone crystal, and some of these redstone gears. So the redstone gears we can get pretty easily here, and we can only make two. We've only got two of these things. And we can make more once we get an ender pearl, which would be swell. Um, but our ender pearl things are still growing, so we'll leave it at that. Or I could just go mine more things, basically, which is the other way to do it. All right, so we need a few of these. We need a few more of these. One, two, boom, boom. Okay, that will give us eight. How many do we need? We need a lot more than that, don't we? We need another eight. Yes, indeed. Okay, 16. Good. So that will give us enough for two sets of those. Um, we need a piece of wood. Good. Okay, sweet. Of course, we're looking into the whole crash itself as well. Okay, good. Boom, boom, boom. Two water mills. Yes. All right, now we're in the money. Now we're in the money. Let's sleep it off. Let's sleep it off. You know, it's, it's one of those things too, and it's nice if you don't have server experience or anything like that, it really is nice having people around that can kind of sort of help out with that and get things done on that end, which is awesome. Um, I don't really have a spot for this yet. I don't really have a spot for a lot of things, mostly. Um, so what are we going to do about that? What should we do about that? You know, these towers over here are actually quite big. We could... Yeah, you know what? This is a great idea. We are going to put the um, the water mills in one of these towers. And this one's going to be pretty tall. So I'm thinking we'll put it right in here and we'll hide it, which will be great. We can hide this little setup and kind of make it into the build. I love it. Such a clever idea I just had. All right, good. Uh, so we do have these corners, so we can go like this and like this, and we're going to need to plan accordingly with some of this other stuff. So we're going to need to have another one. We're going to need to at least have a block. No, wait, that's not right. It's not right at all. That's not right at all. No siree, because we need to have flowing water, right? So one, two. Yeah, how are we going to do this? Okay. All right, so by theory, this needs to be like here, right? Is that right? 
Yeah, because of the corner, we're kind of restricted. Um, that can be there? I think it can be, right? I'm pretty sure we can do that, and then we can do maybe just like a little triangle set up here. I think we can pull this off. Okay, so if we do water right here, boom, that one gets hit, boom, that one gets hit. So then we do this, like that, and like that. So there's our three, good. Over here, we do have the issue, but we can do something about that. Let's see, if we place one there, it'll hit that and that, right? And then by theory, we can put another one there, and so on and so forth. So, I think that's at least a start. Let's place those down. This will give us more grid power. Now, the reason we need grid power, for those of you that are unaware with extra utilities, is basically what happens is grid power is what assists in a lot of things. Upgrades and you name it with the extra utilities mod. It's pretty cool stuff. Now, of course, a lot of that stuff still requires power, hence the magmatic, you know, um, generators and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, it's pretty darn good overall. So that one's got three. This one's got that. Boom. Now they should both be generating 16, which they are. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right, good. So we're now we're generating up to 41, you can see there, in the little tooltip of grid power, just by adding these two, plus those nine solar panels over there. So by theory, if we get even more, that's going to be very, very beneficial for us um, to get more loot as well. Now, I'm pretty sure the only way that we can get these guys is by crafting them or mining them, right? So one of the things that we could definitely look into is we could do this quickly and we could throw some uh, lapis on our pickaxe, which will give us some luck, right? Give us fortune basically on our pickaxe. Now we do have another modifier on top of this, so that's good, but we can get some of this luck going. Um, I don't have a ton of lapis lazuli. Uh, this stuff here, what is the best way to get it? Industrial grinder gives us how much? 12, okay, grinder. Crusher gives 12. Uh, let's just take a quick look here. Nine there, seg mills eight or nine, redstone furnace. Ah, pulverizer, 12. Tectonic initiator gives 13 with a chance of sulfur. So pulverizer it is. So we can jump over here. Go to our pulverizer and boom, get that guy fired up. And then of course these generators are gonna kick in and keep this nice and healthy. Only 30 RF per tick, really not a concern at this point in time for the augmentation and what we have in this system. Good, okay, so that's gonna give us a little bit more lapis. We need to basically start trying to get some of these crystals. So I'm gonna throw down some of our redstone here and we're just going to mine it. Simple as that. Now I'm pretty sure as well, there is a cap. Um, so you'll see here, we need to get to 180 to get luck two or fortune two. So we need 180 lapis total to get to that point. So at this point, we're going to get to 124. So we still need a decent more lapis before we get to the next tier up. As far as I'm aware, I don't believe there's a um, there's any benefit to being not at that maximum or going past that maximum, right? So I'm pretty sure that's kind of like a hard max type situation. So we need 20 more to get us there. And of course we're short. Oh man, really? Oh man, we're short five. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> that is literally the worst. All right, well, I guess we'll just work with what we have um, for now. That's good. We'll just do this quickly and we've got this mining. Oh, I can't even do this. I can't even, I can't. It's fine, everybody, it's fine. Perfectly fine. Obsidian, Flint, Boom. 
There we go. Now I can do it. <laughs> Little life hacks. All right, so we're just basically getting some redstone and hopefully get a few more resonating crystals. Perfect. Got one. That's awesome. And I'm, I think fortune actually affects these. I'm not 100% sure, but I would assume it does, um, just like anything else. So, oh, nice. Three already. That's good. I like it. Fortune's helping a little bit. We definitely don't get as much redstone as processing it, and we also don't get the cinnabar, which is super useful with the silk touching of the redstone. But we are getting a lot more of the resonating crystal to increase our grid power across the board. So that's... That is a huge net benefit in my mind. Okay, good, good. All right, we got a little bit of flint up here. Excellent. We got some gravel on us. Okay, so we have six more of these. Wow, that's a lot, actually. It's a lot more than I anticipated. Um, and we do actually have quite a few pieces of redstone. So we can get working on some of this. So we need 16 total redstone torches. Four good and good okay 16 of those excellent this is at least going to give us two more um or yeah two more there we go wait yeah there we go okay weird it was acting it was acting a fool all right put that down and we'll get our stone burnt going very good and we're what happened to the other one there we go a little glitchy there not sure what was going on. I don't know if that's server connection or what. Shouldn't be. I have very good connection to the server. Um, so this spot right here, we can place down another water mill. And that's already benefiting from this and this stream. So we only need to add in the one more, which we can do quite easily by like this. Good and good. This one over here, same thing. We can add this guy right here like so and it's already getting benefit between the two as well so it's already generating eight or half of the maximum that i can get so we need two pieces of water and we can get those up to 16 as well and then from that point i'm pretty sure we have enough grid power at this point in time to really just you know settle that out a little bit all right so over here we're going to do this yeah so that one's going to be like that then we're going to do this, and that one will flow like so. Good. Good, good, good. I love it. Eventually, this is going to turn into one as well, which means that we can do this right now to be prepared for it. That can turn, and then we'll do another water thing somewhat over here to complete that setup as well. But as you can see, we're now up to 73 grid power. That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. So there's a little, there's a couple things that we can do. Obviously, the angel ring is a huge benefit. Um, they changed that recipe a little bit to make it a little harder, if I'm not mistaken, in Beyond. Um, it never used to require nether stars. So, yeah, they definitely changed that. It's a little bit harder to just all out rush, like I did in the test playthrough. Um, that we had so that's that's one of the things that changed you do at least need to kill some withers right restarbed mob spawner crazy dragon mill dragon egg mill oh that's so good all right um but uh, there are a couple things that you can do even with the water and really because of the water you're pretty set up but what we can do is we can do some speed upgrades these guys right here they require an upgrade base gold plate gold ingot and block of redstone an upgrade base is a weighted pressure plate so each one of these and let's just do a quick little demonstration here each one of these is going to require nine redstone and three gold per upgrade okay because you need the two plates you need the two additional gold and the blocks of redstone but they are going to assist quite a bit with our setup all right we will need to figure that out but then we can start to use some of this grid power to our advantage as well you can upgrade your magmatic generators for example at the cost of grid power okay so let's 
quickly look into that as well. So we have two upgrades. So I could put one in here. And what you can see is now we are continually draining one power. Okay. So that's what that means, basically. Over here, same thing. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this will double the output. But again, we're draining one grid power. But you can get quite a bit of lava and you name it um, from your power. Okay, I'm going to install both in here. So we're continually draining two grid power. But what this is going to do is it's going to dramatically speed it up. But equally, it also is now requiring a total of 24, whereas without it was eight. So you do need to have the grid power of a maximum of 24. You can see the number building up to 24 and then it caps over. So you do need to have the grid power to be able to accommodate that burden or that load. All right. Hopefully that makes sense for you all um, if you're playing and you're looking into extra utilities too for some of this stuff. Um, the other things that we can do is we can actually add the speed upgrades and whatnot into into this system here. Um, or can you? No. Can you? I think you can. I'm trying to remember. Um, there's also wireless heating cores, which is good. That basically allows you to get um, heat from your power. There's upgrades, there's stack upgrades, there's upgrade for mining as well. So you can make your cobble generators out of your item nodes and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of good little things here with extra utilities that we can, we can work with and explore as we go mechanical users and mechanical miners are also very good there are a lot of different generators as well um, equally there is a crusher and a furnace system if you want to go straight to extra utilities too instead of dealing with the thermal expansion setup that we have here but i think for now that's basically going to be about it sadly we are pretty much at wrapping up point already. I know it's crazy. I didn't felt like I didn't get much done, but we did get a decent amount and we can slowly but surely progress on. Um, we got that, we got the solar panels. We're starting to build our little water mill area here. You do need to have flowing. You can't just put a source block beside it, um, but we're starting to get good grid power and working towards the angel ring is something that we are definitely looking to do. Um, other than that, I think I want to get back into some thermal expansion here right away. Um, there are quite a few additional things that I'd like to kind of play around with in there. And I want to look at some of the other generators as well. Compression Dynamo is one of the ones that really kind of stood out to me where you can use things like tree oil and I want to look into all of that tree oil and and what we can do with it and all that kind of stuff the other thing too is the upgrade kits I'd like to get more upgrades overall so getting some more electrum would probably be a good idea uh, let's see alloy smelter silver and gold just like I figured induction smelter same thing so either which way you do it you're good to go on that front now that we have the induction smelter so we can get a little bit of that going here as well. Um, apparently I don't have much gold. That is a thing. We should probably look or start to think about some sort of system to, well, basically improve our increases maximum power due. processing speed gold. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Yeah, I think I do. At the moment. Um, so get some sort of mine of some sort of something going as well. There is an extra utilities one. There's also a few other ones. So we'll, we'll look through all of that and start to progress towards some sort of a quarry system as well. So, yeah. Anyways, that is, I think, going to do it for us. This upgrade, though. Yeah, we're going to do that. We are going to do that. One, two, one, two. Oh, let's get our Electrum. And then we can speed up these two. Yeah. Get a little bit more speed. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. And what? Did I do it wrong? 
You know? It's gold. It's not Electrum. It's just gold. It's just gold. There we go. There we go. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. A little bit of speed. A little bit of speed and kind of improve this. Double our power requirements, but we have quite a bit more um, in power generation available to us. So that's good. Um, equally, we could probably swap this one out and, you know, save the secondary coil as needed. Um, so I'm going to do that as well, just to improve the speed. I think I need to go a little bit mining. We need to get some mining going and all of that. And then from there, I think we're pretty good to carry on. Um, I'd like to do a little bit more base building as well. And that's part of the stuff that I'd also like your guys' input on. Um, when it comes to building on camera and all that type of stuff. So anyways, I'm rambling. I'm rambling on. I'm going to store our extra augments up here, I think. But yeah, so all of these should be quite a bit quicker, which is good. And we can work on processing some different things. Um, I don't really have anything to process at the moment. Then we can also look at some of the upgrades. Silver gear. Okay, easy enough. And I think fused quartz, hmm, maybe a trip to the nether will be required. Um, no, we can do the hardened glass, I guess, can't we? Hardened glass, pulverized obsidian and copper. Hardened copper glass. Oh, is that a thing? You learn something new, right? Uh, fused quartz, painted, etc. Okay, I want to look up hardened glass now. Hardened glass. Oh, there's all different types. What is the difference? Hardened copper, hardened tin. See, hardened glass itself is normally lead. Yeah. Huh. Well, there's different types of hardened glass, which could be cool for building. Just saying. All right. Well, this will be faster. It's good. And away we go. Server restart in 30 minutes. What do you know? Um, I'm going to make some hardened glass, I guess, and get some pulverized obsidian going and get all that set up. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. We'll get this going. We need the upgrade. And this should give us more room to do other things, which is awesome. Awesome. So awesome. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm still going. I'm still, I can't stop can't stop everybody i just i can't stop playing it's an addiction okay boom 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 upgrade kit done all right boom so this guy is upgraded again so now we can add more power so if we actually take this out for a quick second and install it there yeah we've just doubled up that system okay i like it i like it the power is going to be draining but i like it all right Thanks for watching, everybody. Really do appreciate it. I need to go find some gold. Have a good one.